100 million plus and plus and plus angels. So this is really a horrific event. Now, my implication na siya sa earth. There is an implication on earth. When the divine council is in session, it is also like a meeting of the joint chiefs of staff because all the angelic divisions of armies are on standby for things that will come out of the unbanked session that will be implemented on earth. If that happens, by the way, the basis, for example, citing the United States uh, as an example, they are in one place, but they have bases everywhere. So when the Joint Chief of Staff or the government is in session, these bases become an extension of the territory of the kingdom and they become portals or points of entry for action worldwide. So they are there, but when decisions are made, something happens in Afghanistan, something happens, uh, something happens in Saudi Arabia, because they are everywhere now. This season, when the Heavenly Council and Joint Chief of Staff of Angelic Armies meet, there will be heightened activities in the spiritual portals worldwide. I have another book there on portals. And I am taking it slowly because it is too much for my spirit. It's really systems overload. And you will get a sense of why it's really systems overload. A little bit here. But whether we like it or not, there are portals. And when the angels move, they move. So it depends on whose angels are moving and on whose side of the army you are. Okay. Where do we get this portals issue? Genesis chapter 28, the earliest reference. Jacob left Beersheba and set out for Haran, and there he reached a certain place. Please receive this in the spirit. There's a certain place. In that certain place was a stairway resting on the earth with its top reaching to heavens and the angels of God were ascending and descending on it above it to the Lord in a certain place. There are certain places on earth where angels ascend and descend. They are called portals. They may be latent, they may be passive now, but when the divine council is in session and decisions are made for tongues, tribes, and nations, they will move. They will execute the orders of the heavenly spiritual joint chief of staff. Okay, now I will, I will pause for a while. Because for some people this is really too much. But for those of us in Ehop who have journeyed with us, and for myself for example, this is really making my Christian life very exciting. Because when I travel and I do a lot of traveling, I will go to Cagayan de Oro again to meet with the intercessors this weekend. I begin to sense portals in the places that I go to. I know if the place is of the Lord or of the enemy. I begin to sense. Wala man na sila may mahimo kung kontra kung wala ka malang just you know, I, but I will, I will digress, okay? But here is the strongest passage of portals, the strongest passage. Psalm 24, the earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and who live in it. Then you have this famous line, who will ascend the mountain of the Lord, who will stand in his holy place, clean hands, pure heart, etc., etc. Now here is the next line. Lift up your heads. You gates. <laughs> ano na ang istorya ang gates, my heads. Be lifted up, you ancient doors. Ano na ang istorya ang doors, my head, man? That the King of Glory may come in. Who is this King of Glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, you gates. Lift them up, you ancient doors. The King of Glory may come. If you are armed with a Hebraic mind. The heads 
of the gates, as in First Chronicles chapter 26, verse 12, there are Levites and priests assigned as gatekeepers, and they are under heads. The heads of the gates are in the angelic realm, the chief angels assigned to the group of angels assigned to the portals. And the heads, these are angelic beings that are called, lift up your heads, because it assumes that you are relaxing, but the king is coming. Oh, the king is coming! The king is coming! Lift up your heads. Be lifted up, you ancient doors. Okay. Why would you lift the door? The head is okay. But what is meant by the door itself being lifted? Because the doors in the castle and in the temple, they have a locking beam. It's a heavy piece of wood. And the way to open is to lift that up. Then the gate will open. So, lift up your heads be lifted up, you angel, then the king of glory will enter the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord, in battle. So this is the name of the Lord as Jehovah Sabaoth in Hebrew, which is his name as head of heaven's armies, meaning this is the angelic world. The angelic world is being prompted to be ready to open when the king of glory will enter to reclaim the world that belongs to him. Because that is what the second coming is all about. He's going to reclaim the world. Now, very important. How do you create portals? <laughs> it depends on whether you have blessed or accursed objects. Blessed or accursed objects create gateways. For example, the Ark of the Covenant creates a portal wherever the Ark is. Angels will follow it. Accursed objects, high places, Asherah poles, obelix become portals of demons. A chief portal is the house of the Lord. When the Lord sees His house on earth, He said, My presence will be there. And when His presence is there, His angels will be there. And what does He want His house to be called? My house shall be called a house of prayer. So you create a portal every time you establish houses of prayer. So, in these last days, the, the scenario is getting very interesting. Okay, we'll talk about obelisks. What are these obelisks? They are these figures that are so tall, pointed pillars, and they are really quite bastos in origin. Okay? You know what I'm trying to say. They are phallic symbol depicting uh, the male sexual organ because it depicts life and vigor, okay? But they are religious symbols. They function as a homing device because the proper procedure in the putting up of an obelisk is to locate through the instrument of a surveyor the best place which is central, central, and you put it there, and you put a marker there, and if you are a Mason, a member of the Freemason, and if you are whatever, etc., then it's not just a structural figure, because the temple of the gods call on the heavenly creatures, the spirit beings, through the symbol of the obelisk. It, it means, we are here. Hello, hi, we are here. We are down here. We have a temple for you here. And this is the highest obelisk 
in the world. So, can you imagine all the abortion and the gay laws and the in Washington D.C. So anyway, so and how about the Asherah pole? Okay, please allow me to give this to you. Okay, please forgive me, but I need to give this to you. An Asherah pole is a sacred tree, tree, kahoy or pole that stood near Canaanite religious locations to honor the Ugaritic mother goddess Asherah. Okay? They are cult objects and Jeremiah lambasted the Israelites during his time because they began to put Asherah poles in their worship. Okay, please hold on. I might shock you with the next slides. You Google, Google in the internet, modern Asherah poles. Google is not a Bible school. He's not a theologian, but he will show you this. Google knows that this is an Asherah pole, that this is an Asherah pole. Okay. Sometimes, uh, I, will, I will tell you a story, okay? Before I go to how then shall we live. I will give you this testimony. I've never given it before. I have a law office. I have a client. He is engaged in the picture business. So she gives me a very wonderful picture frame. Very big. Composed of a fish that looks like a reptile that goes circle with the two creatures the head is coming here and the other head is coming there and since it was a gift although I did not quite like it I accepted it and just put it beside the door of my law office the time that I brought it to my law office I began to have problems. I did not think of that picture frame. I thought it was just the normal worldly system thing that I need to overcome with prayer. Then lo and behold, three weeks later, I received an email from your sister in Christ, our seer, Isa. Si Isa wrote me, Nong Lindon, pardon me, do you have a picture frame in your law office beside the door? Text back. Why? Does it look like a reptile that is shaped like yin and yang? Yes. Why? Nong Lindon, they hear what is your plan in your law office. It is a portal of the spirit realm. I am being monitored. In my, lo my law office is dedicated to the Lord. But out of ignorance, that is why in the Feast of the Lord, Passover, Pentecost, and there is a time that we are supposed to check all our houses to see if there is any accursed object. Because without our knowing it, if the Ark of the Covenant brings blessing, if the presence of the Bible brings blessing to a home, then the presence of accursed objects like pornographic materials, rock music, dragons in jars, they become portals. If we really want the best possible quality of spiritual Christian life, ako ya, spiritual sanctified common sense, go on the side of safety. Why would I risk myself having all those things when my loved ones and my spiritual, physical health condition is important to me? Okay? So, 